as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we dispense with preliminaries and get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Are you accustomed to appearing before audiences? Are, are you accustomed to appearing before audiences? Yes. yes. <laughs> are you in some form of the amusement industry? Is it show business rather than sports? No. One down and nine to go, Mr. Parr. Mm. Are you a man or a woman? You can't ask that. That cannot Mr. be answered Ford. yes or no, Mr. Parr. I must ask you to rephrase the question. Is, are you masculine or feminine? <laughs> that, <laughs> that cannot be answered in the negative or the affirmative, and I must ask you to rephrase the question. Is your natural voice soprano or tenor? <laughs> I'm very persistent, you know. Uh, that, can't, <laughs> that can't be answered either. Well, uh, are you a woman? No. Oh. Two down and eight to go, well, Miss Francis. Uh, you're not in the theatrical world. Are you part of the sports world? Yes. Are you uh, part of the sport that is taking everybody's time these days, baseball? Could be. <laughs> are you a member of the... N National League. Remember them. Are you part of the National League? Yes. You play for the National. Uh, would you be my ball team, part of the Giant team? Yes. Well, sir, I think I I've got it. you. <laughs> Did you hit your thirty-first home run today? Do you play center field? Are you say hey, Willie May? I must say this, I think Will ought to get medals because we were hoping that we'd get you off into the field of entertainment and have him dancing, singing, you know, and that voice he was using was just wonderful, but Doc got it, somebody came to sports. Uh, how about Mr. Parr, oh, Mr. Parr, you can take it off now. That's it. 